Well, good morning from Toad Hopper Ranch. And it is um, Tuesday. And I had predicted that our snow would be gone by Tuesday. And uh, so, as you can see behind me, we still have snow on the ground. And let me get out here a little bit into the sun. And you can see the front yard behind me. But our high today is going to be 56. Now that's what it says for in town. It usually gets warmer than that uh, here. Um, we're, we're higher than what the town is. The town's down in the Osage River Valley. So um, usually a little cooler down there. But I still predict that most of the snow is going to be gone today. It'll probably get up to 60. And uh, our windsock, which is over there I hope I'm pointing at it um, is uh, showing a nice breeze out of the south so it's bringing those warm winds in here and and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna believe in that I'm going over to the cottage because I'm gonna play in some dirt today uh, and see what time it is my grow lights come on around 11 o'clock. It might, they might be on now. We'll take a look. But uh, the things that we have started in the seed trays under the grow lights are now growing up and touching the lights. So uh, we'll go in here and take a look. It's going to be dark in here if those lights aren't on. Nope, they're not on yet. So I'm going to turn the overhead lights on. There's enough light in here for me to see but probably not enough light for you all to see what we got going on but we're going to walk over here let me turn this around so but here's our grow station they're on a timer and uh so around 11 o'clock they'll come on but i'm going to pull this, some of these out because these are big and um, start repotting them in bigger pots and then they're going to move down to the next level there, so um, they're going to have room to grow. But everything that I planted is um, frost hardy. So as soon as the ground warms up a bit and we can work in it, um, I can plant them in there. And if it gets cold, it uh, won't hurt them too bad. They'll, they'll pop back. So let me get everything arranged here, and I'll get right back with you. Well... I uh, could probably use a bigger setup here, but I don't, so this is what I have to, to work with. But, I mean, can you believe this? Look, at, these are um, um, Oregon Super Peas, Sugar Peas. And look at the roots on those already. I wondered why um, the, the water was being sucked out of these trays. These trays are full of water, so they were kind of... Tricky, I forgot, and spilled some water out of them. But, I mean, just look at the size of that. And these can be planted early. Um, this is um, Tom Thumb lettuce. And I will probably up-pot this. And, uh, my gosh, you know, <laughs> in a week or two, we could be eating this stuff. Um, makes me think that we could probably grow lettuce out here all year round because it is warm and, and I have the grow light. So, you know, why not? I think the rest, now in this tray, these are also peas. Now that's the same thing, Oregon sugar peas. I must have planted them twice. Oh well, we're going to have lots of peas, but look at the roots on that. Pretty, pretty long. So um, this right here is um, bronze beauty lettuce. And um, these seeds, most of them came from Baker Creek, so they, they, they're taken off. I'm probably going to divide that up a little bit more and um, repot them in several different things. Uh, so I have several peas here. I'm not going to pull them out right now, but I do want you to look at something. Uh, so Terry was wondering, because we feed the birds and we're sunflower nuts, uh, that's what this is. This is sunflower from bird seed. And look at this. We're going to be able to grow beautiful sunflowers from these seeds. These things are really taking off huge. So I'm going to have to repot them. Now, I won't be able to set them outside. 
So I'm going to have to work with them a little bit and uh, keep them alive until we can put them out. But definitely they need to go into bigger pots. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be repotting these. And um, I'll show you what I use. And uh, it's cheap and it's inexpensive. But uh, let me grab some here. <clears throat> So what I use is um, um, plastic cups, and I have holes in them, drilled in the bottom, and uh, if you want to, this saves a lot of time, but you just take a stack of them and put them upside down and uh, run your drill through them. So you could drill several uh, at a time, and um, so you don't have to drill each individual one. But I used these last year. They were great. And then I put them into a tray, and I fill that tray full of water and put them back under the grow lights. And everything did really well last year. What didn't do well last year was the fact that we were trying to plant in virgin soil. It was not amended. We've dumped a lot of leaves, cow manure, and, and grass clippings on the garden um, since last year. And we are hoping for some beautiful things here. So... Um, I'm going to take some of these out of here that need to be repotted. And um, while I do that, now I'll come back to you. Well, I just wanted to show you. Take a look at the roots. There is um, two, I think two pea plants in here. And look at the root system on them already. I'm going to divide them up. You have to be very careful. And... Um, plant them in each one of these cups. In each one of these cups I've already put oh like halfway full of I use a uh, Miracle Grow uh, potting soil and I used it last year and it worked great so um, it uh, doesn't work for me last year I'm doing it again this year and uh, I, I got some of this stuff going before some of the uh, we don't really have garden centers here, at least not close by, but um, go to like the tractor supply or farm and home or, or whatever and uh, pick up some of the stuff that they have on the shelves or they're just now starting to get this stuff out. So, so I'm planting this. And... Folks, I am not an expert in any way, shape, or form. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, one of the ones that's really a, a gardening, into gardening, raising animals and stuff now more is uh, Roots and Refuge. And she had the most beautiful garden when she was in Arkansas. Last year they moved to um, South Carolina, and she's having to start all over again. So it's been interesting uh, watching her... Uh, a men's soil that had never been uh, had anything growing in it and, and um, you know just uh, seeing what she does she's on a lot larger scale than what we are we'll never be that big but uh, the thing is now I'm going to have to make some more markers to uh, um, tell what these are but I know they're all the same kind of peas so I, I probably won't have to mark every single one but it's nice to have markers and when you got them out there in the garden and you see how they're doing. And then that way, um, you know, you know, if you should get them again next year, try it again next year. Now this one here is one plant. And the root system on it is like, well, it's, uh, it's really going to be good. And uh, hopefully, 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 the deer... Because we don't have any fences up, so this is a... <laughs> We're going to be making a salad garden for the deer, possibly. But I saw some really cute ideas and on, on uh, scar scarecrows, things that move and make noise. And uh, so I'm starting to save all my tin cans and stuff to uh, see what I can put together out there. And um, maybe just the movement and the noise of them will keep the deer away. We can only hope, right? 
So I didn't put any more water in with this dirt because <clears throat> the dirt they were in is already wet. And then this tray right here, I'm going to fill it with water and then they can just take it as they need it. So that's, like I said, that's what I did last year and I grew some pretty healthy plants, uh, more than I wanted actually. It's just that uh, the bugs got to them and, um, well, it was a learning experience, let's put it that way. So I'll get these all potted up and I'll get back with you in a little bit. All right, well, um, I've got one whole tray planted of the peas. But you know what? I don't think that there's any gardener in this whole wide world that hasn't had a duh moment. So I was just, you know, planting these things up and looking how big they are and and uh, all that kind of stuff. So I have uh, nine, 15, 15 um, cups of peas. Now, I'm looking at these peas, right? And I can see that they've already got their little tender uh, tentacles out that they use to climb and cling. I'm going to have a heck of a mess in this uh, tray because they're going to climb up, they're going to wrap around each other, and they're going to get on the um, cart that I have over here that I have all the grow lights and stuff on, and I'm going to have a mess. I need to think about what I'm going to do, but um, the potential is there. <laughs> Alright, well, for right now, I'm going to put these on the cart, and um, the lights are going to come on here pretty soon. I don't know what time it is. Oh, pretty soon. Yeah, real quick, they're going to turn on. And I'm going to repot uh, what I have left, the, the uh, lettuce I have and some sunflowers. So... We'll see. Okay. But a garden, gardening is a learning experience, and I, I think even the experts have a dumb moment, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, here's what I've come up with. <clears throat> so, um, oops, nothing, nothing things down. There are some really healthy, I mean healthy sunflowers in here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave those up to Terry. He can decide what he wants to do with those, because that was an experiment from bird seed. Um, the lettuce, this is the Bronze Beauty lettuce. And this butter tub was sitting out there, and I cleaned it up and poked some holes in it, two in the sides and four holes in the bottom, because this tray is going to be filled with water, and they'll just uh, <clears throat> take the water out of there as they need it. But I wish I had more of those. Um, and I found a flower pot, and this has the Tom Thumb. This stuff grows really good. I grew it last year in my green stocks, and if you don't know what the green stocks are, you're just going to have to watch for future um, videos because I have two of them, and they did fantastic. Um, they're going to be, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. Um, the wind here gives me concern about they, them blowing over and this year I have bought um, turntables for them so they will turn um, I have to turn them but last year I didn't have the turntables and they um, only got sun on one side so that was an issue and then I just found a bigger container than the one that I took them out of is not as deep as I would like but this is the butter jam lettuce and um, it looks like it's going to do real well. But these are, well, not the sunflowers, but the lettuce is uh, things that I can plant outside before the frost. It does well. These are called cold water crops. So, we're going to go outside again. We're going here. Well, real quick, the lights did come on. And you can see. And I think my dilemma with the peas, these are the peas, and right now I just have them set in there. They're not under lights, but there is lights there. But they actually come up right underneath where the lights would be, which is the same issue that I had up here. So I have this top shelf, and it's just open, 
And I'm going to talk to uh, <coughs> Terry and see if I can get another grow light. And I really like these uh, LEDs. But to hang it from the ceiling and then this area here, I can grow, you know, as high as I want to under those lights. I have this kind of grow light right now. It's okay. I actually need a couple of those. But if I'm going to buy more lights, I'm going to go for the LEDs. So anyway, um, let's take a quick walk out here. and It's been melting. And it's warm. I'm going to shut this door though. It's too chilly yet for the plants. But you can see our driveway is melting off. And uh, the front yard is melting off. The windsock is still blowing from out of the south, which is a good thing. You can hear the wind, I'm sure. So it's going to be a good day. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Um, I would like to ask you, look at this turned around so I can see what I'm doing here. If you guys like what we do here, and we hope to get more videos out um, of things that we're doing and uh, how we do them, and like I said, we're not experts. We're just a couple senior citizens trying to make do. And uh, uh, get us up there in the YouTube ratings by liking, subscribing, subscribing commenting, and all that kind of stuff and uh, it would be fun that if we got enough viewers that we got monetized that we could put a um, guest cabin out here and then y'all can come down and visit us for a week all right uh, you take care God bless <laughs>